Hi, this is Jill Anderson, the Homegrown Gourmet. Thanks for joining me today. Um, I've got something really wonderful here for you today. This is actually a vegetarian dish um, because I am using some, some cheeses. But I'm going to make a fresh spinach and artichoke dip with uh, sun-dried tomatoes and roasted garlic. So it's a little bit different than what you would typically get in the restaurant, uh, restaurant dip. I've got some fresh spinach here on my cutting board and in the, in the bowl I have 16 ounces of whole milk, organic whole milk ricotta cheese. To this I'm going to add about 3 ounces of crumbled goat cheese. I like to use a little bit of goat cheese to, um, to give it that sh a sharpness. Um, I just, that's my personal preference. If you don't like goat cheese, you can omit it, but I happen to love it. So into that, I've also got about, um, about one cup of shredded uh, mixed Italian cheeses. I think there is Fontina, Asiago, um, mozzarella, provolone, so forth. And then I also have about one cup of shredded Parmesan. We're going to add that to the, to the mixture. And then I'm going to stir in my chopped, minced, sun-dried tomatoes and roasted garlic. And I always make my own roasted garlic. It's very simple to do. Um, I blanch my garlic cloves in boiling water for about 30 seconds. And then all you have to do is just reach in the pot and kind of go and slip. And it shoots the garlic clove right out of this little skin. So it, it's very simple to do. And then after that, um, you put them in a shallow dish, cover them with olive oil, and bake them until they're uh, tender. And then you can just package them, pack them in olive oil in a mason jar in your refrigerator, and they'll keep for several weeks. So into this went the sun-dried tomatoes and the artichokes and the garlic with the cheeses. And I'm just going to give it a mix, really. It doesn't have to be extremely well mixed at this point. You can see how thick it is. There's a reason for that because as we cook it, it's going to melt. I do want to throw in some pepper. This is just some black pepper. My pepper grinder has gone into the Bermuda Triangle somewhere. I had it a little while ago, now I can't find it, so it's all right, we'll just use that. And I'm using about a half teaspoon of sea salt maybe a little tiny bit less than that. Okay, so that mixture is ready to go. The spinach, this is a pretty simple operation here. We're not really even going to chop, chop it. We're just going to take it down into some more manageable pieces. And I'm just kind of slicing through it. I don't need it to be that small because as it cooks, it's going to break down even further. So here we go. These pieces look fine. And I'm going to toss this all into the dip. If you see some that are a little bit too, too large, just rip them. No big deal. I'm all about easy, so just rip it. Now that you have it in there, you're just going to kind of mash this mixture all together. And what I'm probably going to end up telling you is, pause again. So we're going to do it with our hands. We're going to get this good and squishy and then pack it into our oven proof casserole dish and bake it at 350 degrees for approximately 20 minutes or until all the cheeses are melted and it's nice and bubbly and hot. So this looks like it's fairly well mixed and you can see like I said how very viscous this is. So now that we've got it mixed, the last thing to do is pack it in the claw. <laughs> That's okay. Your hands will get clean. Easy to do. I'm trying to do it so you can get a, a view of it here and get it all packed into the dish. Isn't that like pretty? And it's so, it's, it, it's not watery like when you use um, frozen spinach. There's no need to defrost and, and, and um, squeeze water out and all that. It's just, just, it is what it is. Okay, now that we've got that all into the dish, 
I'm going to get that into my oven and we're going to give this 20 minutes until it's bubbly, cheesy, and hot. We'll serve it with pita chips and it's a wonderful appetizer or a light lunch. All right, now all we have to do is wait. Well, I think I'm looking at the clock here, and I think it's about time to go ahead and take this out of the oven. Let's have a peek at our artichoke dip. Oh, it smells so good. This will bring everybody running inside. Take a look at this. You can hear it sizzling. It's wonderful. The addition of the roasted garlic and the sun-dried tomatoes makes this taste a little differently than maybe some of the uh, artichoke dips that you're used to. Plus, you know how that is when you buy that in the restaurant. You, you don't know what all kind of junk is in there. In this, we know everything that went in. Everything was fresh. Everything was uh, homemade. And now we've got this wonderful appetizer. You can serve it alongside some pita chips or corn chips or even some little slices of baguette. Whole grain baguette would be perfect. I am about ready to dive in because this looks really, really good. So I'm going to go ahead and, and um, sign off for you today and I, before my husband gets in here and eats all the dip. <laughs> but do visit my website at www.thehomegrowngourmet.com. Stop by my blog, which is on blogspot.com. It's called Living Green with the Homegrown Gourmet. And don't forget, you can pick up a copy of my cookbooks at either one of my sites. I have the Homegrown Gourmet Cooks for the Vegan. This is all vegan recipes, all organic ingredients. And then, of course, the regular one, the Homegrown Gourmet Cooks for Everyone. I look forward to being with you again next week. Thanks for stopping by my kitchen. Have a healthy and happy week. Bye-bye.